Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? It's the one and only Hip Hop Game Up. Hot 9-7, Live to Tech G. We live here at E3, baby. Man. You already know what Look it at is, it. son. Look so, at it. Yo, I right, check it out. Everybody got opinions, right? Everybody yeah. got opinions. But there's always a need for a second opinion. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Let them know who you are, what you do, and what Second Opinion Podcast is all about. So okay, that, my name is uh, Celeb, Caleb, Gale, Celeb, whatever, however you want to call it. <laughs> Second Opinion Productions, Second Opinion Podcast, taking over the globe one podcast at a time. Gaming is our passion and podcasting is our profession. I also work for Cinelinks.com, so make sure to check us out there. Dope. We do a ton of different stuff with movies, with gaming, with everything geek, and especially community, baby. That's what I'm it's all about. about the community. Fire That's how facts. we do things, man. So but you know, you and me have been doing this for a while. Yo, uh, I'm gonna tell you something right now, <laughs> son. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I gotta right. tell y'all something about him, right? right? Let's hear it. I, whether I'm streaming, no matter what it is, your energy, it's like you like you got the perfect voice <laughs> for podcasting and all that energy, son. Oh, I love you, bro. I appreciate so, it, bro. Let's get right, because off camera we was talking, right? Yeah. So you was talking about um uh Doom. Doom. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now. Like bro. I'm gonna just let you know right now, son. Doom Eternal. It's one of the craziest games. I'm gonna tell you, you can take the dude heart out, put the heart in his mouth, and let, make him swallow his own heart and blow him up. It's crazy, like, that joint bro. is insane. How it you feel crazy. about doing what you saw Man, it at the Bethesda Man, I'm gonna tell conference? you right now, when I saw it at the Bethesda conference, um, I felt like I was reborn in the hellfire, baby. It was amazing. <laughs> It was so good, bro. It was like, I felt like a little kid, like sitting there like. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to be. Yes, you know man, it was amazing. But you know, we also got to check out gameplay at the booth. We got to play the story mode. And bro, if you were at E3, stop what you're doing right now, go play it. Don't do anything else. Don't worry about anything else. Play Doom Eternal. It Bad. is a must at E3 this year. And I'm telling you right Bad. now, fastest gameplay that the series has ever had yeah, and it yeah. not only not Yo. only brought all the best of 2016's doom but yeah. it brought the original uh, the original creative aspect of the uh, of the original yeah, doom absolutely. back again you're gonna have hell heaven this huge battle yeah. and you got Yo. the doom slayer that's Sorry. just like just move out of my way and let me do my shit. You yeah, know what I'm like, saying? Yeah, like, Doom so, is crazy. It's crazy, so, bro. To me, um, when I look at Doom, uh, the 2016 version, yeah. the smoothness, to me, I feel like, and I just got to keep it real. This is how I get down. When Bethesda uh, came out, to Howard, and they talked about Fallout 76, yeah. they got to fix that. You know what I'm yes. saying? They got to fix that. So they I did. love that they're doing a lot more free stuff. They yep. add a new story. Yep. But my thing is, what I want to ask you is, uh, like, I think it's time to get rid of that Fallout 76 engine. I think they need to just get rid of it. I think, and the Ooh. reason why I say that is because when you look at Doom and that engine yeah. and how smooth it plays, yeah. and then you look at Rage that just came out and all this other stuff, there's no excuse. They're too good for that. <laughs> what are your thoughts on where you feel Bethesda should go in that world of uh, Fallout and, and stuff like that in terms of the technical side of it? Well, let me, tell you, let me tell you this. Uh, from one Texan to another, <laughs> how you doing, it, Software? Uh, but... <laughs> It, it, oh, they have great, God. great technology, man. It, the ID Tech 5 engine is, is unbelievable. Uh, the, the quality of the engine, the quality of the graphics, the gameplay, uh, the, the, the ability of an engine being able to run some of these games from anywhere between 120 to 240 frames per second? Come Crazy. on, bro. Crazy. Like, Crazy. what is this? Where are we? Is this, I don't know, we're in game in heaven. Um, but you know, my thing about this is that, you know, Fallout 76 is what it was. Um, you know, I think Bethesda tried something different. Uh, they realized that they messed up. Yeah. And they actually did really good by the fans that came out and were like, hey, man, listen, we're fixing this. We're bringing NPCs back. But I do agree the engine is an upgraded engine that they've been using for quite some time. So maybe eventually we're going to see something different. I hope so. I hope so. We need yeah. to see something different. Yeah. Facts. I'm putting it out there. So now, one thing that you talked about off camera as well was Crash Team Racing. Bro. I didn't play Crash Team Racing yet, but the way you, just your energy on that joint, I need to know what's up. Talk to me about Crash it Team. It's huh? crazy, bro. You got a total of 25 characters confirmed for the game already. All right, okay. I know that part. You then, serious? Yes, bro. Right, cool. And then what's really crazy is that it feels like, did you ever play original Crash Team Racing? Of course, yeah, that's and all what I'm that? saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played that, of course. So, yeah. like, with this, it, it implements everything that we had when we were younger, when we just loved everything about gaming. No matter what the game was, we would play it. Yeah. And, and a game like Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, um, really, I mean, it brings us back to our childhood, man, because I got to sit down with Activision and Beanox uh, and got to play the game for like 30 minutes. And bro, I'm, I'm telling you- I'm hating on you right now. I'm so you got to play the game for 30 minutes? 
I don't like you right now. But don't, <laughs> don't sleep on this game. There's two different versions of the game. There's a $39.99 version and a $59.99 version. Okay. And what's great about it is that they just announced at E3 that the Grand Prix is coming back. Or actually, I'm sorry, yeah. Grand Prix coming back. It's actually being introduced. Yeah. So there's a lot of fans out there that like kart games and yeah. wanted the Grand Prix added into the game. And uh, they did it for all the fans. They're going to be coming out with new levels, new characters. You can customize all your characters. Oh, it's I like crazy. that part. 